Hello, Adam Weatherby here with Luke to talk about the Backcountry 2.0 family. Uh, upon the success of the Weatherby Mark V Backcountry, uh, we took a lot of the features that people love to hike around uh, with that rifle and just made a lot of improvements and refinements uh, to that gun. And so we have before us here the Backcountry 2.0 family. Yeah, so what we did is we took, like you said, the original Backcountry. We updated the stock to the new Peak 44 Black Tooth stock with the new 3D Hex 2.0 recoil pad. And I think that weighs in at right around 20 ounces with the recoil pad, right? Yeah, it's one so. of the lightest, stock, if not the lightest production stock out there, Yep. Uh, which puts the finished rifle right at uh, 5.3 pounds or 6.2 pounds in the nine lug version. Mm -hmm. Kind of depends on the barrel length, but we've got the deep fluted bolt. Um, uh, different from the original backcountry is now we have a threaded bolt knob that's mm -hmm. a lightweight version. Mm -hmm. um, comes with the muzzle brake. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and I think important to understand with all of our Mark Fives again is our nine lug and six lug. As you can tell, there's almost a pound difference between the two. That's going to matter on your weight as well as the steel and the titanium. So this black and silver coloration is going to be the titanium version of the steel knocking what about a half a pound off luke yeah so the steel version i should say is uh msrp 2699 mm -hmm. the titanium is going to be 3449 mm -hmm. um, and so weight wise six lugs 4.9 pounds mm -hmm. and the nine lug is 5.6 pounds spec for spec other than the titanium receiver they're virtually identical but um, to cut off that about half a pound of r total weight through the titanium receiver so yeah one of the things obviously that we saw in the backcountry was with the introduction of the RPM family, uh, mm -hmm. the 6.5 RPM and now the 338 RPM is you can really get Magnum performance uh, in a sub five pound rifle in that six lug action in the titanium. Uh, 280 Ackley is in there as well. So yep. a lot of higher powered stuff for under five pounds, which is really hard to find. Yeah, it really resonated well with the, uh, the you know serious lightweight backcountry hunters that um, people have been cutting weight in tents and packs and everywhere else yeah. and now you can really finally cut a lot of weight in your It should be noted too. too that the 3D hex recoil pad uh, was changed and modified from the original one uh, mm -hmm. as well still giving some of that same uh, recoil reduction that when we compare it it's a it's a longer kind of elongated push uh, that you feel rather than it's snappy. Same amount of energy it just mm -hmm. changes the amount of time it takes to hit you and mm -hmm. so it actually takes more time for the recoil to hit you which feels more like right. a push than a hit. And there was some feedback we got from the field of people uh, storing uh, their old uh, uh, you know their yep. back countries with that recoil pad and so we changed a little bit to have uh, some of those issues minimized with the new uh, 2.0 series 3D hex recoil pad. That's right. Uh, when we launched the original Backcountry 2, we, we revamped the Carbon Mark family, and one of the things we did was we really found a lot of success with the new um, BSF barrels, with mm -hmm. the carbon barrels for the Backcountry family. So now for the first time in the Backcountry 2.0, we've got the BSF carbon barrel in this family. So just like before, um, steel receiver, titanium receiver, same color scheme. Um, Money-wise, you're looking at MSRP of $32.99 for the steel receiver and $38.49 for the titanium. And then weight-wise, you're at 5.9 and 6.6 .6 for the 6 and 9 lug of the steel receiver and 5.4 and 6.1 for the titanium receiver. So they're actually just about two-tenths of a pound heavier than the um, steel, steel barrels, barrels mm -hmm. but um, you get a little more performance. You're going to get more shots in a tighter circle faster. Mm -hmm. So On average, and every gun does vary, you know, yep. we'll have some of the smaller steel barrels that do shoot really good, but especially with this BSF carbon fiber barrel uh, and the tension system that's in there, we do find if the barrel does heat up that it does tend to keep the groups closer, to be uh, closer together because of that tension. Yeah, so you, a lot of guys looking for a gun that can do some double duty, range time, mm -hmm. hunting time. Um, if all you're ever going to do is hunt, steel barrel probably yeah. It's fantastic, but if you are looking kind of go to the range, poke quite a few holes, you're probably gonna be a little bit, a little bit happier with the uh, with the carbon barrel. Um, so and like all the Bark Fives, they all have the trigger tech trigger. Yep, we need to say that. That's the top of the top of the line right there. So it's titanium carbon fiber barrel, carbon fiber stock. It's kind of everything. And I should note too that the brakes uh, are titanium. They are on the on the carbon barrel. Yep, on the backcountry 2.0 carbons. Uh, they are titanium. We did that a lot just for weight because we do, we know Weatherby folks like to, uh, ex you know, extend their bullets out their ways and have some velocity. So we have longer barrels and for balance, we chose to put a lighter weight break on the end of it with titanium. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Again, the MSRP on the titanium is 3849. That's going to be a top shelf. It's a top shelf Weatherby Mark V product there with a lot of the latest technology. Yeah, it's a custom rifle at production rifle cost. It's pretty mm -hmm. awesome. Yep. That's the Backcountry 2.0 family. Uh, we're excited about it on weatherby.com. You can uh, peruse around and uh, check out all the different configurations. And you can also go to our custom configurator, mm -hmm. play around with colors and dips and all sorts of things there as well. Thanks so much.